Hey, what's up, everyone? Andrew from the Ski Monster. Today, we're going to talk about how to adjust the Tyroli Attack 14 ski binding. Now, first and foremost, it's very important you see a certified shop technician to make sure your boot is properly adjusted to your binding. However, if you find yourself in a pinch, I'm going to help you out. So to start, I want to talk about how to adjust the AFD on the Attack 14. Now, on the toe piece, you have the AFD adjuster, which is this screw here, located in the front of the toe piece. Currently, the AFD is not adjusted properly. We have too much movement of our AFD tester. The friction is too low. So we want to look for a gap of 0.5 millimeters between the sole of the boot and the AFD. Now to adjust this, we're going to take our posi drive or Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to rotate this screw clockwise, and that's going to raise the AFD towards the sole of the boot. And to make sure we have the right spacing, which is 0.5 millimeters, we're going to use this test strip which is 0.5 millimeters, roughly the same thickness as a business card to find the right friction. Now, currently the friction is still too loose. So ideally we want to make sure we have the business card in place where as we pull it, we don't want to tear or fold it, but you want to make sure we have contact and friction between the toe and the AFD. So I'm a little bit tighter and then a little bit tougher for me to release or pull the test strip. And right there is the perfect AFD setting for this boot. So next, let's talk about how to adjust the forward pressure on the Attack 14. So on the heel piece, you have this tab right here. This is your forward pressure indicator. These hash marks are the sweet spot. So the housing of the heel piece should be in the middle, or as close as we can be, of these hash marks. So currently, the forward pressure right now is too loose with the whole tab sticking outside the housing. So to adjust this, I'm going to release the boot. I'm going to use my Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to lift up this tab. And then we're going to move this towards the boot. Bring this tab down. And then I'm going to click this boot back in. And now, as you can see, the housing of the heel piece is within the range of the hash marks on the tab and now your forward pressure is properly adjusted. Finally, let's talk about your DIN setting. Now, again, we really recommend you see a certified shop technician to make sure you have the right DIN number for you. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into the DIN, like your height, your weight, age, skier type, size of your boot, and it's really important to make sure you're in the right number and they're set both the same on the toe and the heel. But if you find yourself skiing and you're releasing too easily, or you're not releasing at all from your bindings, I'm going to show you how to adjust your dins in a pinch to make sure you're at the right setting. Now let's go over how to adjust the din on the toe piece of the Attack 14. This is your din window. Currently it's indicating that we're at a 7. Now to increase the din value, we want to take our posi drive or our Phillips head screwdriver. The screw is located on the left side of the toe piece. As I go clockwise, that's going to increase the din number. We're going up from a 7 to an 8. And I really want to stress the importance that a little goes a long way when changing your din setting. And finally, let's adjust the DIN level on the heel piece. This is your DIN window, indicating the DIN right now is set at a 7. So to make sure that our heel and toe are at the same number, which is an 8, we're going to take our posi drive, or Phillips head screwdriver, and as we wrote this clockwise, a few clicks, that brings us up to a value of an 8. And that's how you adjust your DINs. And those are the adjustments for the Attack 14. Now again, Really important that you see a certified shop technician to make sure your boot is properly adjusted to your binding. But if you have any questions at all, give us a call, email, live chat, or come see us in Boston for an in-store appointment.